I have a question. I warn you, I'm going to have a follow-up question. And you've answered some of these before. One of uh, Kokua Council's issues, of course, is aging in place. My question is actually more of an affordable housing question. It's about a place to age. And um, uh, one of the things I do is I participate in a Food Not Bombs at Thomas Square every Sunday for the last 10 years, more than 10 years. We see more and more seniors out there who are presumably unhoused or underhoused and hungry. Um, now, other municipalities, other countries have various forms of rent control. Uh, they limit the amount you can raise a rent. They limit, uh, you know, if you've been a long-term uh, um, tenant, they limit the ability to evict. If you want to evict, you have to show cause and, and that sort of thing. Um, are you willing to consider some form of rent control and, and what kind, especially to help uh, seniors have a place to age in place? And I wish I could say I was asking for a friend, but <laughs> I, I have a certain amount of self-interest in this. Yes. I'm going to be 70 years old on Friday. Yes. Well, so first of all, thank you, Doug, for feeding so many of our neighbors. Um, that's, thank you for that. And I know you're not doing it to get any kind of gratitude, but I feel so grateful. Um, so uh, yes, I am totally down for rent control. Uh, I, you know, and I, again, I am a landlord and I, I you know, I don't, raise rents like very all like you know like there was a situation where one of the tents at the water run for like two months and it was the water bill was really huge and I did raise the rent by $25 but generally speaking like that's not like um I, you know I try to keep if I can pay my bills and and actually I have to share with you that when I go door knocking for a lot of these two-story walk-ups I am surprised by all the older people who've been living there for years. I'm like, and I know that their landlord is informally doing some kind of rent control for them. You know what I mean? But we that's not sustainable. That's not gonna cut it for all of the individuals that, you, that you're seeing and that who, you know, aren't, um, you know, and then what happens with the when the family member of whoever owns that building passes and it goes to, and it gets passed down to the next generation? Are they going to want to keep these people? And there's no guarantee. But if we change the law, then I we can have that. It would also be another way to disincentivize uh, the commodification of real estate of 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 housing again. I mean, I talked about this before. We have to move away. Um, or we have to acknowledge and affirm that housing is a human need and, and make sure we prioritize that over housing as a commodity, as something you could make a lots of profit from. Um, so yeah, so I do support it. Also, um, you know, Peter Savio has spoken about this, about his aunt who had rent control in New York City. Uh, you know, at the beginning of her life, she moved in her 30s or something into a rent controlled apartment. And because the rent never went up, her salary went up over time. So she was able to actually, uh, you know, um, generate uh, equity. So there's two ways of getting equity, right? One is if you purchase a home and you sell the home later for more money and or the value goes up and you can you can get a home equity loan off of that increase and whatever. So that's a home buyer. The other way to, to create equity is rent control. And then that way, um, people who are, have a controlled rent, but hopefully their wages go up over 30 years, right? So if you go in 30, you come out you know, by 60, hopefully your 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 uh, wages have gone up and your rent stays the same and you're able to um, create a, um, a safety net for yourself as you go into retirement. Uh, so yes, I'm a sure, huge supporter. Sorry, did I, did I, yeah. if I answered your question, then you can go into your follow-up. Yeah, no, I have a okay. follow-up and I'm okay. glad to hear your, your, your I just wanted to say, um, I visited Germany. There is no, uh, I visited two cities, Göttingen, that used to be in West Germany, Leipzig, that used to be in East Germany. No homeless people on the street. 
They have rent control legislation. They have five main parties. They actually have nine parties that have at least one representative on the uh, federal agents legislature, the Bundestag. Um, they have a very powerful Green Party. The vice chancellor is a Green. They have a federal ministry for family affairs, senior citizens, women and youth, and that, that minister is a Green Party person. We in Hawaii, we got one party, basically. To get legislation passed, you got you to gotta play with these guys. Uh, there's no competition. They're all in one party. I, I'm not going to vote for a Republican, probably, because they're just personal opinion. That's a that's a dog of a party, you know. Where a, a Kokua Council is nonpartisan, so I'm not, you know, I'm just expressing my own uh, opinion about that. But we need more parties. I mean, we can't have a functional legislature with one effing party. That's ridiculous. What? How do you? How do? How do we? Pre how are you going to pass legislation if you got to deal with one party? And do you have any kind of solution for this? And this might be a brainstorming question. It might not be something, you know, you thought of before. But No, I'm, I'm this is exactly sure. why I'm running. I mean, I feel like the, it's, for me, it's not just about party. It's about the the way that that we don't have a dynamic, trusting, open process within the deliberation within our party. Um, I also don't like the fact that the, sun, we, the legislature has exempted itself from the sunshine law, which means they can go into caucus and then leadership can bully <laughs> the less powerful representatives <laughs> into submission, right? If we didn't have that kind of um, walled off privacy, would, and it was a more transparent process, would there be better ideas coming forward? Would people see how obvious and blatant the, the reward and punishment structure of the current leadership is, uh, and then call them out and hold them accountable? It, you know, having a more open process will be messier, but I also hope that the results will be more people-oriented, uh, you know, res Hawaii resident focused, the needs of the community, as you mentioned, you know, elders who can't, who are on a limited kind of income, and there's no hope of supplementing their income. So what they got is what they got. And so we need to make sure they're housed with those limitations. Uh, so yes, I feel like we could have the best and brightest ideas uh, come to the surface if we didn't have the structure that is currently in place within the party, right? If we expanded, and I use the term democratize, right? Bring representational, uh, that kind of representational democracy back into the house. And we'll get that, and we can actually, we don't need to pass a statute we can do that all through, you know, the house rules. We can, and that's why I hope to like work with and meet with as many representatives as possible for swearing in to say, let's agree that we could do better in the way we process things to bring out the best ideas. So yeah, I mean, I, at this point, I would prefer a more I think there is power to having a robust opposition party or even three or like you mentioned, nine parties having these broad dialogues. But if we're going to have that broad dialogue between parties, why can't we have that broad dialogue within one party? As long as we're having the dialogue, do you know what I'm saying? As long as people aren't being punished or, you know, their bills are all going to be killed because they you know, they spoke out against a, one issue in a bill that was introduced by the speaker, like uh, that, that we're never going to get to the solutions we need. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, thanks. Thanks for your thoughts on that. <laughs>